Hello ladies and gentlemen, experiencing a misfire issue with a 1.6 HDI engine. This could also maybe apply to a 1.4 HDI. Also TDCI, I will try to write the engine codes at uh, the description of this video. And TDCI is for the Ford and also this engine is on some minis, I believe. I'm very happy today, very happy, because the fix was very simple i spent a lot of money but the fix actually needed no money just something maybe interesting i'm here at uh, behind me is the nurburgring you cannot see it from here it's on the hills there's the carousel actually you can come by by car over here i parked over here near these benches and you can walk from there um, towards the carousel of the Nürburgring. But anyway, this video is about the um, misfire issue on my Peugeot 1.6 HDI. This engine, as I said before, is on many um, vehicles. So in this video, I am going to show the simple fix, which I suggest if you have a misfire to do this before doing anything. So you won't, you won't spend money for nothing. I'm very surprised about this issue. Um, I have found no information on the internet about it because the, the information I found is about the um, fuel pipes, which are here. I have one leaking there. In fact, I already bought a pipe to change it. I bought an original pipe. I was recommended to buy that original from Peugeot in Germany. It was about 112 euro. I found it on eBay for about 58 euro original and new obviously um, but that's not about the the issue is not about the uh, fuel overflow pipe after this uh, fix i will also go thoroughly how i came up to this solution and what i went through to detect this this problem i will go in depth to help you in in understanding better what might the problem be in the near future i will be posting more videos about this car now i've owned it for 10 years i also have some reviews and other information about the car i will write it in the description i will also upload a video on how much money i spent till now on repairs tires and everything and also i will give you a simple fix for the lock I had a problem with the lock once where you start the car near the steering but it was fixed with just 20 euro as related to this problem I've been told to change the, the, the barrel and when you change the barrel you have to change all the barrels of the car kind of or, or three of them uh, because at the rear doors it doesn't have a barrel so it has a barrel here on the, on the other side anyway so I won't make this video very long um, if you would like to know more um, about this car subscribe so you will get notifications so the misfiring problem you might be amazed how simple it was you see this one here these are the fuel injectors these are the electrical these here are the electrical connections and my issue was that this injector was misfiring and uh, funnily enough it was this plug it was just a loose contact i really wish i have the video of when it was misfiring but i was in a panic situation and i didn't have the time to to record it but basically i didn't change anything i just went to um, a mechanic because i didn't have the right tools and he I think he closed the connections over here in this one. He closed them a little bit with a, a special tool. It was like a, a toothpick, but obviously of steel and, and stronger. And this connection became stiffer. In fact, before it used to move and it it's now stiffer. Um, and that solved the misfire issue. I could have done it myself and no money was needed there. In fact, this mechanic didn't charge me anything for that. Um, so 
please before you try anything or if, this also brought up the engine check before you do anything mechanics might tell you to change the uh, part of the harness they might tell you that you have a problem with the injector itself you need to change the injector and this obviously costs a lot of money um, so please try that before anything and make sure that the connection is right you will notice because especially when the car is cold and after very soon i will explain why when it's cold the problem is better detected and you move this and it will you see the engine jerk because um it since there is a misfire on on a on a on a cylinder on an injector obviously um, the engine is unstable okay so that was the simple fix now let's start the how i came to find out this problem it was tough tough but i will explain why this is um, january at the moment and uh, it's cold this is related to the problem i will explain why later and this is january 2025 the problem started in january 2024 right um actually i said that this that i own this car for 10 years the problem started quite early i think within the first year however the the misfire was so negligible i might have noticed because uh i'm a bit ocd it was so negligible that it didn't bother me much and i thought it's maybe um a, a dirty fuel filter maybe some other issue or an issue with the airflow mass sensor which is here mass airflow sensor sorry and the way it used to do the misfire this but this was as i said very negligible was for example when you are turning with a roundabout because when you are turning roundabout usually um, you are not accelerating and neither decelerating but just keeping it steady and this problem used to be also the same with when you are keeping it steady on on a level road where there is no load on the engine kind of and there was a slight misfire anyway i ignore this sometimes it goes away when the car gets warm this goes away now i understand that it's related to this da, da, da. Um, so i ignored it anyway fast forward to january 2022 um, where i i was it was uh, very cold sometimes minus 10 minus 5 and the engine when i start was kind of um, uh, misfiring so the first thing i did was i didn't do much diagnostics by the way i'm not a mechanic um, i'm not a professional so please take my advice with a pinch of salt this i'm just saying what i did okay I'm just trying to to help here. I don't take any responsibility if there is any <laughs> issues. So, um, uh, in 2022, I went to a mechanic and he attached. I had no engine lights. I never had engine lights until this uh, the end of last year, last 2024. So, I went to the mechanic and uh, he attached the uh, the computer with the obd but there was no issues there right so from the top of his head he said you need to change probably the glow plugs because the issue was only when the engine is starting when it gets a bit warm after a few seconds then it goes away the glow plugs are there behind okay um so he said you need to change the glow plugs uh, I wasn't that convinced to be honest however that's what he said I was in a weak position because I didn't know any mechanics here yet where I am at the moment in, in Germany um, so I, I trusted him and 
my to my disappointment this, uh, this is a very nice mechanic actually very nice person however on this situation i was very disappointed i can understand why um basically he didn't change anything and you might ask me how do you know i know from several reasons but um this has a cover over here which is over here it's a, at the moment upside down which was very dirty and there was wasn't any finger marks on it which tells me they didn't even touch the engine also there it was dirty on the air filter you have to remove the air filter to change the blow plugs he said he changed them he charged me 300 euro the problem was still a bit there but i thought maybe anyway i was under stress at that moment i and i couldn't follow it up anyway this passed um it wasn't that cold anymore so the problem was solved in inverted commas um then the next year sorry this was in 2023 of january then the next year comes which obviously was also cold i was going through a lot of stress mental stress i don't know what happened at the time but i don't think i had any issues with it i wasn't using it that much also so that might also be the the reason or i used it just when it was warm um so i cannot really tell however this year the problem happened again and this year the, for the first time actually not this year at the end of 2024 this is 2025 um actually at the end of last year also the engine check came and at one time i lost power from the engine completely it went like into limpo mode anyway i went to the mechanic this was was before the holidays and he slotted me in and he attached the computer and he said that uh, the engine check went away by the way the problem was here on this one the reality is it wasn't this one but anyway i'm not going to blame him about it because you can easily get mixed between i don't know which which is one or or four but this got me thinking because he said the problem is electrical not from the fuel right so it got me thinking when i think about electricity the first thing that comes to mind is loose connection right so what i did then i just tried this what i told you before um uh, so it was that simple i was a bit disappointed because the mechanic could have tried it himself he actually tried this but why not try them all while you are there uh, and he could have solved it very easily but maybe they were under pressure they were going to the holidays and anyway that's now in the past um by the way together with this problem i also had uh, smoke issues which i realized that they because i was thinking it's something related in fact i have this changed anyway in order not to go into too much detail because then you start start to try to identify where the problem is and you end up changing a lot of things um which i didn't need to in fact this problem costed me i guess around 600 euro in total to you know and a lot of worry because i couldn't travel far with it then i was afraid to travel far so anyway um it happened now but what i was a bit disappointed and this is in general in germany is that in germany they don't have from my experience now i'm not talking about everyone because i went to one which fixed this for me very simply without charging any money in fact guess where i'm going now to change my oil i'm going there um they have they don't have the culture of diagnostic where the problem is it, it's all about changing parts right in fact the mechanic that diagnosed the misfire from the computer said you might need to change the injector you might need to change uh, the cable um anyway we need to diagnose it further which obviously adds a lot of money an injector is not cheap so now i'm going to go a bit further how i identified the problem this problem was only coming up when the engine was cold in fact very cold right um uh, in fact 
even the engine light was coming up and then after I drive it for an hour or so the engine light goes off um, which got me thinking even further basically um, metal connections when they are cold they separate a little bit maybe if the connection is not well tied right so then what happens is that when the engine starts to warm up the problem goes away right so this is why the problem was being shown when the temperature was uh, four degrees three degrees or below i should end this video here i hope you fix your problem without spending any money i hope this saves you a little bit of money feel free to ask me any questions below and thank you for watching this video i will go for a short nice walk now towards the Nürburgring carousel ciao